All right, here we go. Welcome back to um, to school from your Easter break. Hope you had a good Easter break. You know where I spent my Easter break? Yeah. Sitting right at this in this chair, yearbook. doing yearbook, and I still didn't finish. Sounds fun. I got a lot done, but um, anyway, we still have a lot to do. But we'll talk about that in your book. Well, Monday was kind of my day off, but I shot pictures at another school, Avon Grove High School. They, I've been shooting some of their sports portraits, put a white background, and so I did that all day Monday. They did pay me, yes. So, um, so I didn't work on your book on Monday, but Tuesday through. Friday and a lot of Saturday at home. On Saturday, I worked on the yearbook a little bit. But my grandson came and visited me Saturday, so that was fun too. So, yes. He went to Avon Grove. Is that right? They got a brand new high school now, so I went to the new building. It's really really nice. All right. So we are talking about what? What's this whole chapter about? Do you remember? It's only been a week. Circles. Circles. Right. Circles. So let's draw a circle. How about that? What's that? What kind of circle? Is that what you said? You're tired? We've only had two lessons on circles so far. This is our third lesson. Well, my goodness. You guys you guys have strong feelings about circles, don't you? You'll have straight lines in circles. Yeah, what is a, what's one of the straight lines that we talked about? Okay, radius, diameter, a chord, What's that? Tangent. Yeah. I think there was one more we talked about where it goes through the circle. Diamond. Secant. Okay, secant. So there are straight lines. So, Gio, does that make you feel better about it? <laughs> it doesn't? All right. So let's actually draw a diameter. So a diameter has to do what? It's got a couple things that it has to do. Well, it's got to go through the center got to go through the center for it to be a diameter and it's got to hit both ends of the circle okay so that would be the diameter all right um, I am going to draw another what's that thing that I just drew right there that's a radius I already said the word but what's that dot in the middle that's a that's the center of the circle I'll call it V and I'm gonna call this W I'm gonna call this X call it Y and I'm going to stick another point in here, just somewhere on there. I'll call it Z. All right. And I'm going to, that's probably not to scale, but that's okay. We'll just say it's 60 degrees. Is that all right? Uh, let's talk about a couple things. Let's, uh, the first thing that they say right here, the arc measure. So let's talk about that. What do they talk, what do they mean when they talk about the measure of an arc? Well, how do we measure angles? We measure angles with what? What unit do we use? Yeah, it's not really a unit, but we use degrees, correct. We use degrees, 60 degrees. Everybody knows that. We've been doing that since the beginning of the school year, all right? But to measure an arc, you also use degrees. So for instance, if I go from W, tell you what, let's do this in a different color, and we'll make it just a little bit thicker. All right, so if I go from arc or from point W to point X right there, do you see how I'm going along the circle and it's a curve, it's not a straight line, but it is a curve. Okay, that's also measured in degrees. Everybody understand that? Now we're gonna learn something a little bit later. Uh, let me see. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna learn this later, but I'll tell you right now, sneak preview, everybody ready? So if I wanted to find out how many degrees this arc is right there, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Before I get too far ahead, let's talk about this, let's go to this diameter. Because we say that this angle right here cuts off, that's the word that we use, we say it cuts off an arc. What does that mean? If it starts here and it goes to W and it goes to X, what's the arc that it cuts off? It cuts off W what? Well, we're just going to call it WX, not Y, because it doesn't cut off that. The 60 degrees only goes to W and it only goes to X. It doesn't go to Y. Everybody see that? All right, so it, it goes to the W and it goes to the X. That's your 60 degrees. Everybody got that? So that's your arc. And we actually, we name the arc by the two endpoints of the arc. All right, so W and X. 
And again, it doesn't matter. Just like we did line segments, it doesn't matter. And lines, it doesn't matter the order of the W and the X. So we call it arc W X. And we have a little symbol. I'll tell you what, let's go back to making this one point. There we go. So we'll call this arc W X. We have a symbol for an arc, and here it is. Everybody watching? This is the first time you've seen this. You just put a little, little cap on top of it. That's an arc, okay? So it kind of looks like a little arc, right? A segment of a circle, a little part of a circle. So that is the arc. Everybody with me on that? All right, so that's arc WX. Or you could call it what? What's another way you could have called it? This blue right here, that blue arc, you could call it what? XW, correct. All right, so you could call it arc XW. So you don't write the word arc in front of it. You put that little symbol on top of it. Instead, a line segment was just a straight line. This is an arc, so it's got a little bit of a curve to it. So make sure you put a little curve to it. All right. Uh, what arc is cut off by... Oh, by the way, I'll say this. Uh, let's go back to white. Um, when you talk about the measure of the arc, we're going to talk about basically three types of arcs here. First of all, we're going to talk about a minor arc. So if we have a minor, what else do you think we're going to have? A major arc. Good. And we're also going to have something else. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. So a minor arc is an arc that is less than 180 degrees. I'll just write the word less than instead of the symbol. Less than 180 degrees. All right. So what is 60 degrees then? What kind of arc is it? It's a minor arc because it's what? Less than 180, okay? So if it's less than half a circle, then it's a minor arc. So what do you think a major arc is? It's greater than, that's right. Technically, it's between 180 and, what, do you, what else do you think? 360, okay? I'm not gonna write that, I'll just say greater than. Just understand in your head, you're not gonna go more than 360, okay? So it's just greater than 180. Technically, it's between 180 and 360. All right. There's one more. What do you think another arc might be? Take a look at the diameter. See that diameter right there? It also cuts off an arc. Actually, it cuts off two different arcs. We're just going to talk about this one. So I'll make this kind of thick. So the diameter goes from W all the way to what? I'm sorry, not W. It goes from Y all the way to W. Everybody see that? Or you could go the other way. Would you agree? You could go from Y and go this way to get to W but it's still gonna be the same measure of the arc. How many degrees do you think that straight line is right there? That's 180, all right? So this is an arc cut off by a diameter, okay? So we haven't talked about this yet, but what do you think this arc is compared to the whole circle? It's half of it. So whole circle is how many degrees? 360, so what do you think the, the pink arc right here is? It's 180, okay? And what do we call that? We don't, it's a semicircle, very good. Oops, let's go back to white. Let's keep this color coordinated here. So we're gonna call this a semicircle, semicircle. Some people might say semicircle. Either way, depends on my mood, how I say it. All right, so a semicircle is what? It's not less than 180, it's not greater than 180, it's what? It's equal to 180, okay? So if you take a look at this, look at this arc right here. Or, I'm sorry, look at that angle. You see that angle right there? That's 180 degrees, correct? Because you got a straight line, right? Everybody watching? A lot of people looking down. So this arc, or this angle right here is 180 degrees. What did we say that pink arc is? It's also 180 degrees, okay? So whatever the arc is, or we call this the central, I'm sorry, I keep saying arc for the angle. This right here we call the central angle. The central angle has the vertex of the angle at the, at the center of the circle. You hear what I just said? So the vertex of the angle, if it's at the center of the circle, we could call that a central angle. It's not the only central angle. What would another central angle be? 60, right, because it's got um, its vertex at the center of the circle. There's another angle in here. What's another angle? What about this one right here? That would be what? Yeah, that'd be 120, wouldn't it? So that would also be considered a central angle, agreed? So it doesn't have just one central angle, but any angle that has the vertex at the center of it is considered to be the central angle, right? So watch this. Again, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but since we're here, I figured we'd do this. 
if this central angle at V right here cuts off this arc, this semicircle, so this arc is how many degrees then? This pink one, how many degrees is it? It's 180 degrees. So that arc is 180 degrees, right? So what do you think, oops, what do you think this blue arc is gonna be? How many degrees? It's gonna be 60 degrees, all right? Again, this is something that um, we'll talk about a little bit later, but I figured we're here, we might as well talk about it. So that's also gonna be 60 degrees, okay? So what's this arc Y X gonna be? It's gonna be 120, okay? And if you look at it, it all adds up to what? All the arcs add up to 360, that's right, because this is 120, 60, that's 180, plus this 180, that gives you 360. You guys good? Okay. Let's talk about how to name a minor arc. So minor arc, we already said one minor arc, what would that be? W what? X, okay? And another minor arc <clears throat> in this picture right here, again, less than 180, it'd be YX, good. Um, I'll just put a comma, YX. Now they're not the same arcs, but they're both minor arcs. Would you agree? 160, one's 120. That means anything less than 180 is a minor arc. And we use two letters. We use two letters for a minor arc. What do you think we're gonna call this pink one? Could I call it just YW? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, because I could call this one YW, couldn't I? This one down here. Are they the same arc? They're the same measure, right? They're both 180, but they're not the same arc, are they? All right, because this one goes up here and this one goes down here. So they're not the same arc, but they do have the same measure. So I need a better way. For a major arc, I need a better way than just calling it or a semicircle. I can't just call it YW. So I need a third point, and that third point is going to be somewhere in between. And so I did put a point here. What was that point? It was Z. So what do you think I would call this uh, semicircle? Y what? Z, W. Or you could call it what? W, Z, Y. But the Z always has to be where? In the middle. That's right. Okay. So these two are your endpoints. It doesn't matter what order you put those in. So the semicircle, I would call it arc, call it Y, Z, W. Put an arc over top of it. Or I could call it W, Z, Y or arc W, Z, Y. All right. The same thing with a major arc. All right. And again, a major arc is an arc that's what? More than 180. So if I put, let's say I put a point right here, um, we'll just call it Q. Is that all right? And I just went from there to there. Yeah. So what if I, let's go different color again. What if I went from here all the way around to there? Okay, that yellow arc right there. There's a bunch of ways I could call that yellow arc, but I don't wanna just say YX, because how do I know which one I'm talking about? If I just said YX, which one do you think I would be talking about? If all I said was arc YX? The, one. the 120, right? Everybody see that? So if that's 120, again, that's 120. So if I just said YX, I'd have to only be talking about that arc and that arc only. What if I wanted to name the yellow one? All right, so I'll put it right here. So I start at Y, I end at X, but what do I put in the middle? I got a whole bunch of points here I could put in, don't I? What can I call that? Y what? Do I have to go Y, Q, Z, W, X? Do I have to use all those? No, I just pick any point in between. So you got a bunch of choices. I could just call it what? Y, come on, help me out. Q, X, I could call it Y, what? Z, X, or I could call it Y, W, X. Or I could go the other way, right? I could call it X, W, X, Z, X, Q, but I just can't call it X, Y, if I'm talking about the yellow one right there. Everybody with me? Yeah? So which one do you wanna use? Let's use the Z, that was our original one. I don't even know why I put the Q in there, but that's okay. All right, so we gotta know how to name these things first, okay, before we learn anything about them. So that's super important. I know it's not the most exciting stuff in the world, 
because they're not really solving for anything. Well, we kind of did, right? If you know that angle right there, that central angle, you know the arc. So we did figure that out, all right? But again, I kind of, um, I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. Um, uh, let's do this one thing right here. It's called the arc addition postulate. Let's just keep that right there. Uh, let's now nah, let's draw a new circle. Let's copy that. Paste it. Just move it over off to the side a little bit. And I'm going to put, uh, let's see where my center is. Okay, so the center is about right there. And let's see. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. Diameters. And let's label it uh, WX. Y and Z, and the middle one is V. That's the point in the middle. All right, so here's what the addition, or the arc addition postulate says. I'm not gonna write that down, I'm just gonna show you. So if I talked about um, arc XZ, XZ, it's equal to, now everybody take a look at it. Let's uh, draw it a different color. <clears throat> arc X. Well, that kind of looks, you know what? I didn't want to make that a diameter. Sorry about that. Let's change this. Let's go to here. Let's go, oops. Click off of that. There we go. Let's do this. And we'll put Z down here. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. So if I wanted to talk about arc XZ, now it is less than 180, isn't it? because 180 would go all the, all the way over right here. It's a little bit below it. So it is a minor arc, X, Z, yes? But what it's basically saying is like this arc, let's just make up some numbers. Let's say that was 30. And again, that's not 180. So I don't know, let's say that's like 120 degrees. Okay, everybody see that? What would arc X, Z be equal to in this situation? It's a real simple problem. It's not hard. It'd be 50? Arc XZ? 150, right. Okay, 150, you're right. Because what did we do? We added up what? Those two arcs. So these two arcs add up to the whole big arc. Yes? Everybody getting this, or is it just too easy? You're not saying anything. So, oops, see Daisy. <laughs> Let me try. There we go. That's good enough. All right, so that green arc right there. So basically what this theorem says is basically that this 30 plus the 120 equals 150. But let's not put those numbers in. What is the name of this 30 degree arc? ZY. That's an arc, so we put it over top of it. Plus, what else is going to give you XZ, that whole entire arc? Yeah, XY or YX. Let's just go this way. We'll go YX. And that's really all it's saying. It's basically saying that these two arcs make up the whole big arc, so it means those two arcs add up to the whole big arc. Okay, not that big of a deal, but it is something that we're going to use quite a bit. All right, let's do an example. Put the circle over here. Let me... Put a little center on there. All right, so we do have one diameter like this. And then we got, this kind of looks like what we just did. Got that, and then you've got that. Yep, kind of looks like the same triangle. But what they're gonna do is they're gonna say, this is 60 degrees. They're gonna say this arc right here is 45 degrees. This is Z. Y, that's V in the middle, this is W, and this is X. It looks like the same letters we just used, doesn't it? All right. Um, it says, find these things. So part A, find arc Z, W, Y. So we're going to find that. And then part B says we're going to find arc Y, X, W. And then arc Z, W. And... 
arc zx. Okay, so here we go. We should be able to do this fairly easy. Arc zwy, let's find out where that is. Zwy, that means, look, this whole thing from here, um, z, then through w, all the way to where? To y. So we're trying to find that big old red one right there. What's the math? How are we going to find that big red one right there? That's exactly right. It's just 360 minus 45. And what does that give you? 315? And that's that red one right there. So that arc is 315. Simple, isn't it? It's just take, like taking line segments, isn't it? Take a whole big line segment, take a little bit away from it, you subtract to find out what's left over. Okay, except we're talking about curves. We're talking about... Um, arcs. Everybody good with that? Let's, let's do this one. Y, X, W. There's Y, there's X, there's W. Oh, this one's pretty easy. Y, X, W. So that's what we're finding right there. You don't have to do any math on this one. What's that going to be? 180. Why? Because this line right here, Y, W, what is that? It's a diameter, right? And it's half the circle. That's right. So an arc that's cut off by a diameter is always a semicircle, which is always what? 180 degrees. Simple. Yes? I'm not just saying that, am I? Isn't it true? Yeah, pretty simple. Let's do this one. ZW. Where's ZW? That would be this one right here. Hmm. Got to do a little work with this one. All right, so what am I looking for? Basically, you want to find that angle, don't I? Or I could do a couple things. I could just find the arc, so that's going to be 60 degrees, correct? What's this arc right here, yx, going to be? Say it again. 95? Is it? You sure? Look. yx. Okay, 120, right. Okay, I don't, you just misunderstood which one I was talking about probably. All right, so that's 120, so that's 120. Agreed? So now what can we do? We can add these up, so what do I got? 180 plus 45, which is 180 plus 45, which is what? 225, all right? But I don't want to find that, I want to find the red. Everything else is 225, so what do I do to find the red? That's it. I just take 225 away from 360, and that is 135. So that arc, that red arc right there, oops, is 135 degrees. Again, it's, it's just simple adding things up, and they add up to a certain number, right? Stuff that we've done with, lo with uh, line segments, but we're just doing it going around a circle. That's all we're doing. All right, and the last one, ZX. ZX. Let's draw it for you. That one right there. So that's just a simple addition problem, isn't it? So what is this? This is 45, right? So this whole angle is what? 165. So what's the arc? It's 165. So basically, if you want to show your work, it's just 120 oops, plus 45 and that is 165 degrees. So that's the first kind of stuff they're going to give you to do. We good with that? Well, we had a late start to class today, so we're not going to finish it. And the next thing's a little bit, a little bit different. Okay, so we only have like two minutes left. So I will stop there. And what I want you to do, so our assignment's going to be a little modified tonight. So I told you to do 2 to 16. Yeah, because I do have we're going to do the next lesson. but So the schedule is already a little modified even from day one, but that's okay. We have Wednesday where you're just working on an assignment. So I'll finish up tomorrow, and then, and then maybe on Wednesday I'll teach the new one. So I think we can still, by the time, yeah, I, I think we're still on track to doing the quiz, okay? Since I kind of have Wednesday as a work day a little bit, um, 
So we've buffered a day in there. So we should still be on track after Wednesday. We should be up to date, okay? But give it a, give it a shot. One, uh, what is it, 2 to 16? So see if you can do any of these right here. I'm sure the first few will be like this, right? Get those done, and then when I officially assign it tomorrow, then um, you should be able to do the rest of them. Everybody good? All right.